To start making games in the year 2020, you need two things. One is a Unity Hub, and two is a whole lot of free time. To get Unity Hub, you can go to Unity Archive and download the latest one. After you download it, this is your user interface inside the Unity Hub. What you have here is projects, and down here what you have is your Unity Engine version number. So by default, you're gonna start with nothing in here. And what you're gonna do is add in the latest one, or maybe you wanna add the recommended one. After you do that, download that, and you'll have a install like that. And then back into your projects, click on new, and this is your create new project window inside of Unity. So what you're told is probably to just give it a name and hit create. But if you wanna publish your game, what you wanna do is create a project name, obviously give it a location, and in here, select the universal render pipeline. After you select this, you won't have to worry about the high definition render pipelines. So hit that and hit create. After your project has been created, this is what you're gonna see. Obviously without these imports that I just imported, but this is just a blank scene that you're gonna work with. What you have in here is the hierarchy where you can add 3D objects. What you have in here is the inspector when you can scale or basically manage the properties of your object. And down here, obviously you have your assets. And here, what you're gonna store is object prefabs and 3D objects that you're gonna import. What we have in here is our other project that we're building which is called the FPS series or the FPS tutorial where we create the first person shooter game and now we want to export this game for mobile devices. To do that we're gonna go to file build settings. What we have in here is our one scene that we're working with. The next thing is to switch our platforms. So what we have right now is the platform for PC for computers, Mac and Linux. What we want is for Android devices. So since I've downloaded the Android support, what I'm gonna do is just hit the switch platforms. All right, so after waiting half a day for this to switch platforms, what you can do now is build. And before you go and build this, you need to go to the player settings. Before you go any further on building this game for your platforms, in, in Google Play, you need two versions of your APK file. One is, one is targeting for 64 bits and one is targeting for 32 bits. So what you're gonna do is in your build settings where you're building the game, what you're gonna do is search for other settings and scroll down until you see scripting backend. So in here, what you have is two target architectures. One is for ARMv7 and one is for ARM 64 bit. So what you're gonna do is first build one game with the ARM7 ticked. And then what you're gonna do is come back here after you build it and select this other scripting backend. What this is gonna do is enable our ARM64 bit. So just take that and untick the other one and then hit build. And then what you can do is in your release, what you're gonna do is just upload it and then review. And by the way, if you're wondering how we build this FPS game so far, in my YouTube channel, what you can find is a Unity FPS game playlist where we have sorted from episode one to the latest episode where we build hitboxes and what have you. And in here, when we finish, I'll be uploading the whole entire project so you can download it and watch it for yourself. And that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I'll put this link down in the video description. 
so you can check it out. I'll see you next time.